Hello, everybody. Today, we will be ranking ships not based on how good they are, but based on the reputation of the shippers around them. Now, as you may see, I picked out a specific number of ships. I probably forgot many of them, but like, it's probably because there's like 5 million rare pairs here, and I'm not even sure if many of them even have a fan base or like a large enough fan base to judge entirely. This one sucks, by the way. But, um, anyways, S means that they have a spectacular reputation. Like, all the shippers can do no wrong. And F means that they are the worst type of people in the world. Let's get started. First off is Haru on. Many of them have been hurt because there's just been one TikToker that comments on every single video that ha Haru on is better. But most of you Haru on shippers don't even know who that person is. And frankly, I'm not redoubtingly TikTok just to blind that person. So for now, I will put you guys on A tier. I'm debating on B tier, but like, besides that one annoying Haru on shipper, you guys are pretty cool. Haru Minu shippers, they're also pretty cool. I haven't really seen any toxic behavior. But I'm wondering if many people who ship Minu Haru, no, Minori and Haruka with other people as a way of rebellion. Akito X R8, this is a common one. I see it's mainly a rare pair. But, um, I haven't really seen any bad people shipping this. It's just, like, it, imagine your brother is dating your best friend. I don't think Anna would like it. Aki, Ari Toya shippers. They probably never even interacted. C stands, C stands for annoying, by the way. The reason why they're there is because of that one, people will be shipped it because of that one, who is Tota? Me. And I hate it. I despise it. And in fact, just because of that criteria alone, Akito X Mafuyu is going in the same C annoying tier too. Because people ship Akito and Mafuyu because of that one come here Mafuyu chan fanfic. Like, what the fuck? Also, I don't even think they're romantically interested in each other. But nobody cares! Next up, Akito X Rui. B tier. It's just like... Like, I haven't really met any bad people, but I just always... I had a bad feeling that many of them have some have some skeletons in the closet that they don't want to tell us about. So, I'm knocking them down a tier just for that. Akikoha Shippers. I'm going to throw away all my biases, but... <sighs> they typically are the victims. So, just for that, I'm going to put them in A tier because they're victims of hate. They're not typically the one doing the hey. They're not, they're not the ones spamming Akikoha Cannon. It's typically on hey and Akitoya shippers. Speaking of Akitoya shippers, I'm gonna put them in C tier because many of them are just so fucking annoying. They're like, oh no, beads cover makes up cannon. If you ship Akito or Toya with anyone else, you're homophobic. Like, no. And Aki on shippers, they're not even that bad. I feel like many people do it. I'm knocking them down a tier because I feel like many people who ship it are, they also have skeletons in the closet. Closet. But how could you, f why would On even date Akito? I don't understand. Stan, the reputation of the shippers, they get hated on, so they're in A tier for being victims. Toya on. All straight shippers are going in A tier because victims deserve a higher tier. Emu Nene shippers. Many of them are normal, A tier. Emukasha shippers. I never really see any particularly bad ones. So I'm gonna put them. Many people just think it's cute. I think it's cute too, even though I don't see them in a romantic light. But my opinions do not matter. Emuri. I never even see the ship. People ship this, but I guess it's possible. Kana Anna. Yeah, they're constantly at war with like Kana Mafu shippers <laughs> or Mafu Anna shippers. Anytime there's like a Nigo shipping war, they always get dragged into it. So they're in A tier because they're victims. Speaking of Rikasa, instant F tier. Why? Because you know it has to be bad. when me Because in my last video where I basically talk about how shipping is overrated, many of the Rikasa shippers are condemning y'all. How does it get so bad that your own species condemns you? Like, F tier. And also Rui Nana shippers. I don't even know I ever got that one too. But they're gonna go in F tier. Hold on. In fact, Rui Nana shippers are in F tier. They're probably even at a lower tier. The reason why they're probably even at a lower tier. But like, they're, they're on the same level, approximately. Rui Nana shippers are probably slightly worse though because they have been known for daxing people. 
and posting pictures of their house on TikTok because, like, because shipping wars, people opt to have to go to extremes instead of simply just shipping re X to Cossacks, Nana together so everyone's satisfied. Ijikana, S tier. Rare pair shippers can do no wrong. Ariana, uh, it's kind of cute, so I'm not. Sh it's kind of cute. Many of the shippers are adorable. Honakana. Eh. B tier. I don't understand. I don't like when Kona Kana shippers. Some of them act like they're better to cut them out for shippers because the relationship is more healthy. Like, come on. Like, no ships are ever going to become canon. Why do you care so much? Oc on hand shippers. Oh, boy. You know, they're between B and C. They lean more toward C. <coughs> I think they're on the same level. Akitoya shippers. Because anytime they see Aki on content, they're like, Anhain better, or Anhain canon, or even so far as they hate on Aki on shippers. Like, what the scallop is wrong with you? Next up is Ichiharu. S tier, rare pair, rare pair shippers, good. Nobody, I've never seen any problematic people that ship these ships right now. Ichishiho. Mainly good. Good. I like the ship, and many people do too. I think... Many people praise their voice, and I especially love their Lost Ones weeping cover. Haruan. It's a rare pair. I never see really too many people ship it, but I think they're canonically friends, so that's pretty good. Mafuena. Oh, boy. C tier, because they're attackers. And also, and also they ship kind of a weird dynamic, and that automatically makes their reputation kind of dwindle a little bit. Because, like... What the hell's wrong? Because, like, why? Literally, I read the event stories, and it's just Edna just being out from a Fuyu's blood every time. Time. I know she does this because, like, she wants her to get her open up, but, like, come on. <laughs> uh, literally saying that she's annoying? And people ship this? People need to get their priorities straight. But it is what it is. Kanamafu shippers. People like to argue that. Ugh. I don't know. Maybe they're the same? I don't know. Maybe they're the same? Like, I don't know. Kanamafu shippers are kind of like... Some of them are weird. Like, genuinely weird. Some of them is go far as to include Mafu Mom into the mix. Like, what is wrong with you? Toya Kasa. The reputation. Instant F tier. Do we... Wait, no, not D tier. F tier is like reserved for the really horrible shit. D tier is like people. A lot of people dislike them because they assume that Toy Casa is incestuous. Like, it's not incestuous. Like, it, like, sure they view each other as brothers, but that doesn't mean like they are brothers. But whatever, I don't. Whatever, most people don't like them. Only dedicated spaces on are for them. Toy Hane. I never really see any problematic people. A. Once again, they're victims so in A tier. Minuharu. B tier. Many of them are like to say, Minuharu better, and they just attack rare pair shippers. Like, what is wrong with you? But it's not so bad that it's in C tier because it's balanced out by any of the people just begging for Minuharu content and loving it. Akikasha shippers, they're slightly... They're like the Rikasha shippers, except they were tame and have a shock color on them. And that they have a screen time limit, so B tier. Minu Shizu. It's kind of a little bit of a rare pair, but not too rare, so... A. Shizu Ari. A couple of them had saying that Romeo and Cinderella makes them canon, which is weird, but it's not enough to knock them down a tier. Shizukasa, obviously their reputation is pretty great. I never really met a problematic one. Anyways, I think I'm done. I just yapped a lot of the time. I'm sorry. Anyways, if you enjoyed me yapping for... What's the recording time? 11 minutes. Make sure to like, subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Hey!